statements of the big three, the statements of changes in equity. This one has quite a different layout, but take note, I still have the company name, I still name the actual statement, and it's for the period ending this reporting date, 31st of December. Now here, this is going to be quite a different layout. I'm not going to have two columns down the one side of the page, but I'm going to have multiple columns. So here, I'm going to have all different types of equity. It'll be share capital. I will have maybe another type of um, re reserve. So let's call it uh, reserves. Let's call it a reval revaluation surplus. The one we briefly mentioned, you're not going to really be tested on that, guys. There's a whole bunch of them for future studies. Then there's going to be retained earnings, my accumulated profits. And in a group scenario, you'll deal with something called non-controlling interest, but not for this course, please. Okay, then you'll have a total equity. And this is going to be done from one side of the page to the other, left to right. I will start off with my opening balance of the prior year. So we're dealing with the 20x4 year. 31st of December is the end. So I must go 1st of January. Not 20x4, but the prior year 20x3. That will be my opening balance. And I'll have an amount. Remember to put in, it's all in rands. So I put R's down. To abbreviate for rands. So I put my opening balance down nice and easy. Remember, all of this together must equal the total. Okay, then we must put in the movements for that year. So let's pretend that there were shares issued. So there was an issue of shares. That obviously would only increase share capital you'll deal with that later on in the study unit on companies but that will not have affected any of the others but you'll have a total then there will be net profit for the year so the net profit for the year after tax you'll remember that profit goes to profit or loss account gets closed out and accumulated in not reval surplus, apologies. It'll be accumulated in accumulated profits, retained earnings. Okay. Nothing under reval surplus, nothing under share capital, but total equity retained earnings is adding to. Then we would have our closing balance for prior year, 31st of December, 20x3. We add up the previous totals. And we have a new total. Now that's last year's closing balance in the prior year. Okay, those figures are in prior, the prior year statements of financial position under equity. Then we have to do the current year. And those changes will be made up of, let's say again, we have net profit. And that piece is going to go under retained earnings with a total. It's not going to affect the other two. Then there may have been a share buyback. So the company buys back some of its shares from shareholders. Again, we'll deal with during the section on companies. That will make share capital smaller. It won't affect the others as a total effect by decreasing total equity. The last one, there might have been a payout to shareholders, to owners. And we'll call that a dividend, which does not affect share capital or reval surplus. It'll just make retained earnings smaller and make total equity smaller. We will then have a closing balance, which will be at the 31st of December, 20x4, which will be our closing balance. Okay, add those columns up, do your total by doing two lines underneath. And what I want you to remember is that all of these figures will all go to the 
statement of financial position. Nice and easy guys, please, this is the third of the statements that IAS 1 prescribes. So we've got statements of financial position, statements of profit or loss and other comprehensive income, as well as the statements of changes in equity. The fourth statement, the statements of cash flows, has its own standard. In accounting, we call that standard International Accounting Standard 7. We will deal with cash flows in its own study unit. Learn these, write them out, make sure you learn, learn them off by heart that you can write them down no matter what state of mind you're in in the exam. Thank you.